hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet this amnoid snail to make this i made this amnoid shell eyes and this base separately and at the end stitch them together so this video it's going to be in two parts in first part i'm going to show you how to make this amnoid she shell and then on second part i'm going to show you how to make this base and this pop-up eyes so before we start to make this snail i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see how we are going to crochet this amnoid she shell so to make this here i'm going to use three colors this is size 10 cotton thread from this brand and for this cotton thread i'm going to use crochet hook of size 1.6 mm you will need a stitch marker knitter and scissor some fiber filling you will also need one metal wire this is 6 mm in size you can find this in any craft store so you will need that wire to make this eyes so take your first color thread and make a ring here i am going to use a magic ring So once you have a ring, in this ring we are going to make 5 single crochet stitches. Five single crochets. If you are working on that magic ring, just pull this loose end to close. So round number 1 is done and we have 5 single crochet stitches now from round number two we are going to work all our stitches in the back loop of this stitch so you can see this stitch has a v-shape like this so this is so this is the front loop of this stitch and this is the back loop so we are going to work all our stitches in the back loop of this stitch so take your hook at the back loop of first stitch and here make one single crochet then work the back loop of next three stitches and make one one single crochet work on your last stitch work on back loop and make two single crochets So round number 2 is done and we have 6 single crochet stitches. Now in round number 3, again we are going to work in back loop of these stitches. So work in back loop of next 5 stitch and make 1 1 single crochet. So after 5 single crochets, now work on your last stitch, work on back loop and make 2 single crochets. Round number 3 is done and we have 7 stitches. Now in round number 4, work in back loop of next 6 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet.
after six single crochet work on back loop of next stitch and here make two single crochets so round number four is done and we have eight single crochet stitches now in round number five we are going to work on back loop of each stitch and here we are going to make one one single crochet So round number 5 is done and we have 8 stitches. Now in round number 6, work in back loop of next 7 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet. So after 7 single crochet work in back loop of next stitch and make 2 single crochet. So round number 6 is done and we have 9 stitches. Just fill this gap with the fiber. Now in round number 7 we are going to work back loop of each stitch and here we are going to make one one single crochet. So round number 7 is done and we have 9 stitches. Now in round number 8, work in back loop of next 8 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet. So after 8 single crochet work in back loop of next stitch and here make 2 single crochets. So round number 8 is done and we have 10 stitches. Now in round number 9 work in back loop of each stitch and make 1 1 single crochet. So round number 9 is done and we have 10 stitches. Now in round number 10 work in back loop of next 9 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet. After 9 single crochet work in back loop of next stitch and make 2 single crochets. So round number 10 is done and we have 11 stitches. Now in round number 11 work in back loop of each stitch and make 1 1 single crochet.
so round number 11 is done and we have 11 stitches again fill this gap with the fiber now in round number 12 work in back loop of next 10 stitches and make one one single crochet After 10 single crochets, work on your last stitch, work on back loop and make 2 single crochets. So round number 12 is done and we have 12 stitches. Now in round number 13, work in back loop of next 5 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet. So after 5 single crochet work in back loop of next stitch and make 2 single crochets. Now repeat this stitches one more time work in back loop of next 5 stitch make 1 1 single crochet and on your last stitch make 2 single crochet and complete round number 13. So round number 13 is done and we have 14 stitches. Now in round number 14, work in back loop of each stitch and make 1-1 one, one single crochet. So round number 14 is done and we have 14 stitches. Now in round number 15, work in back loop of next 6 stitch and make 1-1 one, one single crochet. After 6 single crochet work in back loop of next stitch and make 2 single crochet. Now in round number 15 repeat this stitches one more time. Work in back loop of next 6 stitches and make 1-1 one, one single crochet. Then work in back loop of last stitch and make 2 single crochet and complete round number 15. 15 so round number 15 is done and we have 16 stitches now in round number 16 work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet round number 16 is done and we have 16 stitches now in round number 17 work in back loop of next seven stitches and make one one single crochet After 7 single crochet, work in back loop of next stitch and here make 2 single crochets. In round number 17, we are going to repeat this stitches one more time. Work in back loop of next 7 stitches and make 1 1 single crochet. Then work on last stitch, work on back loop and make 2 single crochet and complete round number 17. So round number 17 is done and we have 18 stitches. Now in round number 18, work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet. So round number 18 is done and we have 18 
स्टिचेंस नाउ इन राउंड नंबर नाइनटीन वर्क इन बैक लूप ऑफ नेक्स्ट एट स्टेच एंड मेक वन वन सिंगल क्रोशी So after eight single crochet, work back loop of next stitch, and here make two single crochets. So in round number nineteen, we are going to repeat this stitches one more time. Work in back loop of next eight stitches and make one one single crochet. Then on last stitch, work on back loop and make two single crochets. Like this, complete round number nineteen. Number nineteen is done, and we have twenty stitches. Now in round number twenty, work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet. Like, so like this, make one one single crochet, work in back loop of each stitch and complete round number twenty. Round number twenty is done, and we have twenty stitches. Now in round number twenty one, work. In back loop of next nine stitches and make one one single crochet. So after nine single crochet, work in back loop of next stitch and make two single crochet. So in round number twenty one, we are going to repeat this stitches one more time. Work in back loop of next nine stitches, make one one single crochet. Then on last stitch, work on back loop and make two single crochet. Like this, complete round number twenty one. Round number twenty one is done, and we have twenty two stitches. Now in round number twenty two, work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet. So round number twenty two is done, and we have twenty two single crochet stitches. Now in round number twenty three. Work in back loop of next ten stitch and make one one single crochet. After ten single crochet, work in back loop of next stitch, and here make two single crochets. So in round number twenty-three, we are going to repeat these stitches one more time. Work in back loop of next ten stitches, make one one single crochet. Then on last stitch, work on back loop and make two single crochet. Like this, complete round number twenty-three. So round number twenty three is done, and we have twenty four stitches. Again, fill this gap with the fiber. Now in round number twenty four, work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet. So like this, make one one single crochet, and complete round number twenty four. So round number twenty four is done, and we have. 24 stitches now in round number 25 work in back loop of next 11 stitches and make one one single crochet
after 11 single crochets work in back loop of next stitch and here make two single crochets so in round number 25 we are going to repeat these stitches one more time work in back loop of next 11 stitches and make one one single crochet then work in back loop of next stitch and make two single crochet like this repeat this stitches and complete round number 25 so round number 25 is done and we have 26 stitches now round number 26 work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet So like this make one one single crochet and complete round number 26 so round number 26 is done and we have 26 stitches now in round number 27 work in back loop of next 12 stitches and make one one single crochet So after 12 single crochets work in back loop of next stitch and make two single crochets like this repeat this stitches one more time work in back loop of next 12 stitch make one one single crochet then on last stitch work on back loop and make two single crochet and complete round number 27 so round number 27 is done and we have 28 stitches now in round number 28 work in back loop of each stitch and make one one single crochet so like this make one one single crochet work in back loop of each stitch and complete round number 28 so round number 28 is done and we have 28 stitches now make chain 1, turn your work, now skip this turning chain, now take your hook in the front loop of first stitch, so this is the front loop, take your hook in that stitch and make one slip stitch, then work in the front loop of next stitch, make one slip stitch, then in next one slip stitch so like this we are going to make one one slip stitch like this make one one slip stitch until this last stitch of round number 28 So we reached to this point now you so earlier we have worked all our stitches in back loop so here you can see this front loops will come in front so now uh, now we are going to work on this front loops yes and here we are going to make one one slip stitch so take your hook 
in the front loop of first stitch make one slip stitch then front loop of next stitch make one slip stitch So when you work on front loops and make one one slip stitch you will get the structure like this so you can see this structure you will get now you just need to repeat this slip stitches work in front loop of each stitch of each round so we have total 28 rounds so we are now in round number 27 so you need to work in front loop of each rounds until you reach to this first round and make one one slip stitch So I have worked the slip stitches till the top and you can see we got this structure. Now again fill this gap with the fiber. Now just pull this thread and cut with some margin. Now we are going to give this spiral shape so what you have to do take this loose end and a needle and work in a straight line so you can see this is the starting so work in this straight line and take this needle and thread through each row this Like this, you need to take this needle and thread and work till this end. So we pull the thread to this end now you just have to pull this thread like this So we fold this till end. Now we are going to stitch this part to this.
so this shell is ready now in my next video i am going to show you to make this eyes and this base so see you in my next video